What's going on everyone? Denise Kozer here. In this video I want to show you how to make silk material. So first of all we need to check the reference and uh, look how it represents in the real world. So we will try to make something like this, maybe like that. And um, first of all we need to create corona material, assign it to the object. Next I want to open preview window so you can clearly see what's happened when I work with falloff map. So create falloff map, then plug it to the diffuse color and now we will work with falloff type towards away. Here we need to move up this point, maybe like this. After that I want to add few more points. One more here, move it down and add another here and here. Also we need to change their positions and um, make them appear more gradual. So change this to Bezier Smooth and make it look like this. So we have nice gradient here. And uh, also I want to make this point more soft. So I change it to Bezier corner and uh, create the curve like this. Maybe we can change position of this point. So now it look like this and we have very sharp line here but we need more gradual so change this type to busier smooth and uh, now we have more soft line here now swap the colors cause we need shine part here like this as you can see and uh, dark on the sides now we can assign this material to the object, start interactive. I don't need any more this window, so I close it. And let's see what's happened. As you can see, now we have material that looks like silk. And um, you can adjust these points a little bit if you want and um, now let's change the colors. I will pick something like gold. Here's the dark one and here's the light one. Maybe like this. This one I make a little bit darker and uh, as you can see with, we've got a really nice material and uh, the last thing I wish to add reflection and uh, make it pretty low glossy, maybe something like this. So as you can see it's really nice and in the real world every material have reflection 
but some have a little bit of it some more and um, for this case I prefer to use something like this you can change it for your taste and um, if you have any questions please ask me below the video also subscribe and follow my channel if you wish to know more about Corona Render 3D Max and uh, many other interesting things in the architectural visualization. See you next time. Bye.